Hi everyone, welcome back to Shireen's Art Corner. Today I am super excited to share with you an image transfer technique that will work for both inkjet and laser. So um, here's what we're going to need. We have Mod Podge Gloss I'm going to use. I'm also doing some experimenting, so I'm using the Mod Podge uh, um, Extreme Glitter. And um, I'm going to be using the Crystal Clear Enamel by Rust-Oleum to seal the inkjet prints. And then I'm also going to be using the Rust-Oleum Paint and Primer in Flat White. And you'll see how I use that in the project. A pair of scissors. And then I have Marble Relief Paste. Um, I don't uh, show you how I use the product in this video, but I show you an example of a project that I did use it on. Um, just a card to spread the the Mod Podge on the paper and um, here I have a glass uh, vase that I got from the dollar store just to show you some project ideas but um, we're going to be using that and then lastly these mailing labels um, they come to per sheet um, but we're going to be using the all right so for the first step what we're going to do is remove the sticky sheets off from the carrier sheet so what I do is I just remove both of the um, the labels and then stick the stick side, sticky side together and just set that aside for notes or whatever, but we're not going to be using that for this project. Um, and this, take, this um, step is for both the inkjet and laser jet. So just remove the, the sticky sheets and set that aside. And then what we're going to be using is the carrier sheet for this um, for the sticker. And you want to make sure whenever you feed it through your printer, inkjet or laser jet, um, that it's going to be on the glossy side, not on the matte side. Um, so you want to make sure that um, you print on that side. Now, you cannot feed this into the inkjet printer as is because the um, ink will kind of puddle up to the top and just smear all over the place. So you don't want to do that. But for the laser jet printer, you can just put this into the printer and um, print it on the glossy side and the toner will um, kind of um, not infuse itself completely but it will lay on top of the the um, the sheet without smearing um, so you can do that but for the inkjet again um, you cannot put this as is into the inkjet and I'll show you in the next step what we need to do for the inkjet prints moving on to the next step this is for inkjet transfer prints only do not do this for the laser print we're going to pour some mod podge onto the carrier sheet and use the card to spread the mod podge you don't want it too thin and you don't want it too thick so just an even a uh, nice even coat and you can use the card to spread that like i said if you find that um, you're getting a lot of lines with the card what i do is that after I spread it with the card i just use my finger and kind of um, even it out and smooth it out on the paper and you're going to let that um, you know set it aside to dry it takes a couple of hours to dry but you want to make sure that it's completely dry so here's one that I've already started um, so it's not quite dry yet but this is what um, it'll look like now you'll see there's a lot of bubbles on here and that's because I um, shook the Mod Podge bottle a little too much and got a lot of air bubbles but you can avoid that by not um, stirring your uh, Mod Podge uh, you know aggressively so here's a side-by-side -side comparison of the inkjet print versus the laser jet print. So you can clearly see a color difference, although it's the same exact file that I printed. Again, I just want to be clear, add the Mod Podge on the carrier sheet and let it completely, completely dry before you run it through the inkjet printer. You don't want that Mod Podge to be wet and damage the printer. And now for the laser print, remember not to add the Mod Podge first. You're going to just run the paper through the laser printer. And then after it comes out of the printer, then you're going to add the Mod Podge. Um, otherwise, that Mod Podge is going to damage your laser printer. Um, for the settings on the inkjet, I just used regular settings. I didn't put like I photo paper or anything like that, so it's just the standard. And then there's one extra step with the inkjet print, and that is to clear, um, seal it with a clear sealer. Um, you don't have to use the um, crystal clear enamel that I have, but any kind of acrylic sealer would work. And you just want to go horizontal once and diagonal once and completely seal that so it doesn't smudge. I didn't want to add the Extreme Mod Podge glitter into the inkjet printer, so once it printed and I sealed it with a spray, then I added a layer of the Extreme Mod Podge to the area that I wanted. Um, with the laser print, once it prints, then you can add um, the clear or the Extreme um, and so that's what I did and that's what it looks like when it's completely dry. 
Another thing to do is if you want to use your transfers on a darker background and you want to make sure that it you can see it is you can spray the back of these with um, the white um, spray and it'll make it opaque in the background so once you peel the image on the other side um, it's not going to be transparent. So once the white spray is completely dry um, it's no longer going to be sticky or clingy on the back so in order to do that you'll have to add another layer of Mod Podge to the back but just want to show you what it what the print looks like um, with the white spray in the background so as you can see the colors really pop the glitter kind of you know shines um, really nicely and of course you can cut the um, cut around the edges to remove any of that extra white space but just kind of wanted to show you side by side of what it looks like with the white spray and without the white spray so now this one is just the extreme mod podge with no um, spray paint on the back and once I peel it you can see it's very transparent um, and it's good for um, lighter uh, backgrounds if you want to put that on but um, you can kind of see the difference there it's, they're both laser prints and um, one just has the white spray and the other one doesn't. Uh, again, this is what it would look like against a white um, surface. And then this is the one with the, um, the white spray on the back. Alright, and here I'm just showing how easily you can cut around the edges. Um, you can keep it on the carrier sheet and cut it if it makes it easier, but you can just remove it from the carrier sheet and cut. Um, so whatever that you're you know more comfortable with doing. But just wanted to show how easy it is to cut around the edges and get a nice clean um, cut. Depending on how you want to use your image transfers, I'm going to share a quick tip with you guys um, if you want to use your graphic to stick on a vase or a ceramic plate and just be um, temporary where you can um, add and then when you know you want to remove it you can just uh, remove the um, the graphic then you have to make sure you add a thin layer of Mod Podge on top of the white paint to make it clingy again um, as you can see on this laser print I did not add the Mod Podge um, so I'm going to be using this like on a canvas or another um, project so that I can just lay down my Mod Podge or any type of um, medium and then add my image to that and it'll stick and it'll be, um, you know, to make it more permanent um, uh, for that project. But then for this one I want to use on a vase. So then I added a thin layer of Mod Podge on the back and that's why you can see it's really glossy on the back side. Um, that helps it make it clingy to any kind of glass or ceramic surface so I uh, just wanted to share that with you guys that if you do want to use this um, then uh, you know for a temporary kind of uh, transfer then just make sure you add that Mod Podge to the back So in review, I just want to share with you the final images. So here is the laser print without the white paint. So these are the transparent um, prints. And this is the inkjet. Again, these are transparent. And then here is the laser print with the white spray paint on the back and no Mod Podge. And then these are the inkjet um, images with uh, white paint and then a layer of Mod Podge behind them. So. Um, Here's the inkjet with the uh, the Mod Podge, and as you can see, it clings on to the glass, and you can see on the back side it's white. Um, and here is the the laser without the um, the white. As you can see it's transparent there on that side. So I just wanted to kind of show you what that looks like. And then if you wanted to make this permanent onto that glass piece, you could use the relief paste and outline. So as you can see on this vase that I did, um, I did the print. This was the laser, no, it's the inkjet. This is the laser. Um, I applied the relief paste on that and it made it permanent onto the glass. Um, 
So finally, just doing a side-by-side -side comparison just to show you what these look like. Um, inkjet versus laser jet prints. And um, I'm really excited that this works. And I know a lot of people had questions about does the transfer work on inkjet. And now I'm happy to say yes. Um, it's a little bit uh, different, but it definitely works. And I hope you guys give it a try. All right, guys, well, that wraps up our video. I'm so happy to share this new technique with you guys. I hope you guys found it helpful, and I hope that um, it sparks some creative ideas from all of you. If you guys have any questions or comments, please um, put them down below, and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. All the products and items that I used um, in this video, I've linked down below in the description box, so check them out. If you have any questions, again, please let me know. And um, I look forward to seeing you guys' creative ideas and things that you guys come up with. i um, really excited that I found this technique and uh, I hope it helps a lot of people, especially with inkjet printers. I know that a lot of people um, had questions about this and um, so here you guys are. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you guys for subscribing and I will see you guys soon.